Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about SLY or silly HTML tag and the comments. Uh, basically, we'll see when we should use the SLY or silly tag. Uh, so basically, this silly HTML tag is used to remove current element. Current element means, uh, suppose uh, there is a tag, HTML tag, which is of no use for out, you know, output or the functionality. So for that tag, uh, you can remove that tag by replacing that specific tag by silly suppose you have a div and that div is not performing any action or not doing anything so you can replace that div with silly sly tag okay uh, keep in mind this tag is not a valid html5 tag right if if you have some parser or you know some audit or any tool which give a doing audit of html5 so you might get error or you might get a warning about this tag if you use it okay so let's see uh, let, let's see why what is the problem with this tag and when we should use it okay so to understand this let's focus on this component only okay let's just get the view source okay when you do view source and select this view okay you will be seeing a empty div okay you will be seeing here a empty div right and this div this div is doing nothing so from where this div is coming for that you need to see your sling model now not sling model sightly okay if you see the sightly here I'm using a data silly use and inside that I'm calling that sling model okay other than this this div is doing nothing right so that's why this div is showing empty div tag in view source so this kind of you know uh, tags you can replace with silly okay so let me replace it and see what will be the difference okay so i replaced the div with sly tag and i deployed it let let's refresh this okay now you will see that div is not available in view source if you see the right hand side where the blue line is coming so you won't see so that way that basically the purpose of this sly tag is so if you you uh, if you the, there is a tag which is not being used uh, in your uh, you know dom there is a no use of the uh, the tag in dom so you can use for those kind of elements or tags you can use sly okay but let's see uh, but in case if you give data silly unwrap and you give a value false in that case this tag will be available if you're not aware data silly unwrap is used to hide your tags right basically if if we want to hide those any tag so we use data silly unwrap is equal to true nowadays it is not being used because sightly itself handle everything but uh, this is just for information if any question come up like uh, when how you can show or any situation any scenario where this data uh, this silly tag is available so this is the only case you can write data silly unwrap and give a value false okay so let's see i have deployed it and let's refresh it so you see if you seeing here in right hand side where my blue line is coming that silly is available because only because of the data silly unwrap okay so let's remove it for now that was just for your information okay so now let's understand the comments so there is a two type of comments you can use in sightly one is generic HTML5 comments and one is sightly specific comments so you you must have a question if you can use HTML5 comment within sightly itself then why sightly gave another comment another way of writing a comment okay so the difference over here is you need to understand if you add a slightly specific comments first let me give you the format of it okay slightly specific comments has a additional uh, this slightly specific comments have a additional forward slash and asterisk and if you see here which I highlighted and HTML5 does not have that so the difference is if you're using slightly specific comment this whole thing is not evaluated at all when the sightly engine see this comment that this will skip this completely but in case of html5 comment it will not it evaluate comment but it will not evaluate this block statement right 
so even if you even you have added this comment html5 comment your parser is still check that line right because it evaluate that comment but in case of sightly that will not happen that means uh, your sightly comment will parse faster than the html5 that's why you have to use the sightly specific comments okay let me deploy this and build it so what I'm doing in last line, last second line, line I'm using this uh, slightly specific comment and the last line HTML5 specific comment. So you will see some differences. Okay. Let's refresh it. The difference you can see in uh, view source. Let me get that. So if you're seeing here when i wrote slightly specific comment that that is completely removed from view source or completely removed from dom so parser will not have that line at all but in case if you are using html5 comment your parser will check that line because they it will check the comment it will skip the content means block statement but still it will parse or check comments so it will again your parser will have to spend time on this line but in case of sightly it is not so that way you have to use sightly specific comments i hope you understood uh, if you have any comment please do comment thank you